Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We're saving the world one trailer at a time. Today we're going to look at the 2020 Jayco Pinnacle 32 RLTS. It's brand new here to Lazy Acres. Just got brought up. It's a really nice stubby package. It's a 32 footer, full profile, drop frame, full size fridge, two caps, just a killer unit. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Right up front here, we have our more ride pin box. This travels front to back three inches, helps eliminate the chucking. We have a full fiberglass front cap, lights underneath this cap, lights right here. Some kind of rougher storage here underneath the gooseneck. Uh, it's prepped there for a generator. Some other kind of random storage. With, down here is where your battery goes. Uh, we include one battery. There's obviously space there to put about three more. We do have, um, Auto leveling on this one, but what's new for this year, the second half of 2020 with Jayco, is they have switched to hydraulics. Uh, we've been waiting for this for a while. Jayco wanted to make sure they had it right before they switched. Hydraulics are basically just a lot stronger and faster. It's a heavy trailer, it's 13,500 pounds. It's just better to have hydraulics on this one. Um, and Jayco's done it, and we're happy. Awesome. Let's uh, just stand over here, cameraman, so we're out of the light. Um, we have pass-through storage here. This goes all the way through to the other side. It's really bright today, so sorry if this is messing with the camera. We have all of our plumbing in through here, full, full water filtration, city water connection, outside shower, auto leveling, solar prep, uh, winterized, sanitized, all that fun stuff is from in here, nice and clean and enclosed and heated. Then we have a 10 gallon gas electric water heater on this one. A big furnace, I think it's a 40,000 BTU if I remember correct. Uh, that's your vent for it. SantaCon system down through here. I've explained that in other videos. Basically, you turn on the SantaCon, has like a shower head, you put it in the sewer, bingo bango, you're off to the races, nice and clean. Uh, 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge, windows around all three sides of the unit. Uh, the off door side, the back, and the door side. We have a rear fiberglass cap. Uh, we do not see that every day. We often see a uh, like a front fiberglass cap, but on the back, it's a really nice feature. It obviously seals it off really well, looks really good. We got the wall that comes in behind the cap, the cap comes over, nice overlap, really good positive seal there. We have a rear roof ladder on this one, a backup camera all ready to go, bingo bango. We have a rear hitch receiver as well. Here's our main slide. How's the lighting looking, cameraman? He says good to go. Secondary awning is off our main slide. We have an outside TV spot right here. Not just a spot, but actually has the TV. We have metal slam latches that you slam. Awning stops right here. Our main awning starts right there and goes all the way to the front. More ride steps. These steps, they look kind of heavy and awkward to bring in, but they're so easy. Boom. Anybody can do that. Nice big uh, entry door, big grab handle, outside speakers. The other side of our pass-through storage, we have a uh, central vac in here. We have our um, portable kind of uh, water that we use in the kitchen. That's really nice because you just go to Food Basics, buy your water, hook it up in here, and then you can have your drinking water inside the trailer. You're not trusting the camp water. Awesome, guys. That was the outside. Let's look inside. Hey guys, we're inside the bedroom of that Pinnacle 32 RLTS. Right now, you're standing at the, the right side of the door there, or the bedroom, looking over top of our queen bed. This is a queen bed. It is an option to get a king in here, but the queen does give you a little more room to walk around. We have bedside tables on this trailer. We have reading lights on both sides, windows on both sides. Um, a really nice bedroom here. And keep in mind, we're only at a 32 foot fifth wheel. Lots of height, lots of profile, and lots of space. Then you're into our front wardrobe. Lots of storage through here. All kinds of shelves. My cameraman's on the bed doing the extra uh, work here for this video. More storage right through here. Right on. Just the other side of our wardrobe. More, more shelves, more shelves. All this hanging. I think it's nice. So this is, you, you can pull this one off, put it down there if you want to get out of the way. You have a washer dryer prep in here as well. Two lights in that wardrobe. Here's our dresser built in. We got four drawers. I love these LED lights underneath. Right on, right on. 
big window here on the door side. TV across from the bed. A good little bit of storage here as well. Awesome possum. This one has dual pane windows. Not every pinnacle on the market is going to have that. We have a awesome garden tub sunken into the floor on this model. Lots, lots of width through here. Lots of height. Nice glass shower. Upgraded shower head there. Porcelain toilet, of course. Um, linen storage here. All that space for storage. Some more storage on this side. Actual spots to hang your towels. All this makes sense. Solid surface in the washroom. We do not see that every day. Good storage there. What a great spot for a toilet paper holder. I love that. Undermount sink with LEDs built in, of course. Medicine cabinet for all your medicine. Right on. We do have a pocket door separating the bathroom from the bedroom. Sorry, bathroom from the hallway. I don't know if you noticed that, guys, but the cameraman hit his head on that door frame when he backed out. Awesome. Little victories, guys. Little victories. Come down here, window our living space, opposing slides. Again, only 32 feet, but it feels huge in here. 18 foot gas electric fridge. A bunch of drawers here beside the fridge. Jacob has slow clothes on their main drawers. Oh, that is cool. Look at this drawer. We have a drawer within a drawer. Too cool. All right. Solid surface, of course. So we got that new Insignia range, which is awesome. This looks like you're just at home. You can actually cook a stinking turkey in there. That is awesome. Uh, door down below, or sorry, door beside that oven. High output burners here. Convection microwave. Oops, there we go. Storage here, storage above, storage beside again. Our TV's right here behind our fireplace. Uh, sound bar right there. If you're not watching TV, guess what? You get another window. Bingo, bango. Storage here above. Radio. Lots of height. Trifold sofa. Ottoman. Storage here across. Windows all the way around the back. Theater seats. Uh, electric recliners. Yes, electric recliners. Heat and massage. Windows, door side. Cupboards above. Freestanding table and chairs. In behind here is where our outside TV is. We saw that on the outside. A little bit of storage throughout. Notice as I sit down here, I'm not dinking around with some stupid table leg. It's just nice attached to the wall like that off the side. We're into our island here now. Huge island, right? Like that's a big, big island. Pop-up, receptacle, farmhouse style, or farmer style sink, pull down faucet, cupboards here all around. Cover door down there. They actually have a spot to store your solid surface sink covers. Bingo bango. And then one more cover door right here with our garbage can. And here's our pantry. Nice and legit there. All lit up. And then we have a hutch as well. Here's our hutch with storage down below. And storage here above with receptacles. So ideally, I think you probably keep your appliances and stuff like that plugged in here, and the rest of this, this counter space is for storage or for you know prep space. Awesome, guys. That was the 2020 Pinnacle 32 RLTS. If you like that video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Our email is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number 705-833-2539. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.